Hey folks, welcome to Corvette Talk with Skaggs. Um, today I wanted to do the second video on my three-part installment on Corvette design. I want to thank you all for watching the first episode, which was on the 1970 Corvette Coupe. Today, as you can see, we have our C5 2004 Z06 out. Um, and yes, it does look fast just sitting here. Um, by the time the C5 rolled around uh, in 1997, Corvette, Corvette fans and the motoring press, pretty much everyone was really looking for a new Corvette. Um, the C4 era was a very long one. It went from 84 all the way to 96, and those rugged, boxy, angular uh, good looks that were so sexy and so good looking back in 1984, by 1996 were very long in the tooth. Um, those angular design schemes were a thing of the past when it came to the C5. Everything about the C5 was organic and rounded, really no right angles at all. And I think it's a design that really suited the car very well. Um, the beautiful laid over, you can tell by the uh, the pod here that there's a big tire in there, very much like the uh, C3. It's very attractive the way it comes like this, goes down, goes up, goes down. Yes, the Coke bottle theme is very much in existence with this car as well. Um, it comes up, goes down ever so slightly, goes back up to the rear fender, and goes back down ever so slightly. Uh, a design scheme that never gets old. Um, the oval design elements in this car was meant to be the polar opposite of the C4. Um, everything about this car was rounded and oval. Uh, if the average car in the average vehicle in the late 90s and early 2000s had 50 design elements that were rounded or oval, well, the Corvette had to have 100. And you could see that they're all over the place. Uh, the lights, the pod with the, um, with the license plate, the backup light, um, the marker lights. Uh, the door handles, the mirrors, everything had an oval design scheme, and I really think it works well with the C5 Corvette, particularly the, uh, the Z06 with the, um, with the notch back window, which I think is very attractive. This beautiful round piece here, very, very attractive. Um, you know, sometimes I think that the, subtle, the subtlety of the, uh, the C5 Z06 is something that you might actually have to see in person. I'm going to try to point out some of the subtleties to you. And you're gonna have to you're gonna have to envision them. Um, there's a beautiful line here that comes down like this. It meets up with this line over here, comes along, and it actually wraps around and makes it seem as though the greenhouse, which is where the windows are, are one piece, one pod that was lowered down onto the top of the car. And it's a beautiful design element. If you come to the back here and you look at the roof of the vehicle, you get down low, you can see that there's a double bubble there. Another beautiful design scheme. Um, the impression was supposed to, it was supposed to give you was that you could take this car to the track, jump in, put your helmet on, and have enough room to, cl to clear the uh, roof of the car. The oval design scheme carried on into the interior. More oval design schemes, the vents for the AC, uh, the radio, the cup holder, the door handles. Everything was organic and rounded. When I say organic, uh, I'm referring to the fact that in nature, there really uh, apparently aren't any right angles. So uh, an oval, a rounded design scheme is considered organic. And the subtleties in this car are what make it aggressive, in my opinion. This was the last true subtle Corvette um, when this era of Corvette, the C5, um, was discontinued in 2004, from 2005 all the way up to the 2020 Corvette, uh, the mid-engine Corvette, they're really in your face. Lots of angles, uh, lots of aggressive design schemes. This car is very subtle, and I think the subtlety is really what makes it attractive. Like I said, aggression in the subtlety. Um, beautiful lines, every, beautiful curves and lines everywhere you go really, really attractive design schemes. Um, one of the design schemes that I really like a lot, it's very unique to this car, is the way this comes up like this and actually is sloping downward. So you see the roof of the car, instead of it meeting at an angle, it kind of slopes downward. That's a very, very attractive design scheme there. It gives the illusion of going downhill, again, of speed. Um, a very handsome car in its own right, folks. Um, I hope you're enjoying this uh, series on design. Um, we're going to try to get the uh, C6 Z06 out next week. The weather's been spectacular, but our window of opportunity is closing rapidly. Um, uh, so please stay tuned. And again, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Uh, I know we have some problems with them. I know we screw them up. But again, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it, folks. Um, design is something that's very personal to me. My father was an artist. As a kid, I would doodle all kinds of cars, and I'd bring them to him. He would make the corrections, and out of a one-dimensional, ugly car, he would turn it into a beautiful three-dimensional vehicle. Um, artistic streaks front of my family. I'm not necessarily saying I have one, 
um, but I believe I do have an eye for design. So these videos are kind of personal to me and I really appreciate you watching them. Folks, thank you so much. Um, you know what I'm gonna say here. The weather's nice, get your Plastic Fantastics out. Thank you so much, folks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.